Amen. Don't let the small ways fool you. They will fuck you up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Repeat Performance. Repeat Performance, get it? It's essentially a channel about uh, middle-aged guys, such as myself, right, who we're told we're past our peak, we're past our prime. We're dealing with a career, wife, kids, probably, probably trying to be an entrepreneur, trying to, you know, do our best. But they've told us, hey, your best years are behind you. Your testosterone levels are probably, they're telling you it's dropping. You don't have any more energy. You're chasing kids around, this and that. You don't have any time because you're working so hard, this and that. Well, this channel here is about being the fittest you can be uh, while not neglecting your family and having fun with your family and your kids and doing all that, right? That's what it's going to be. All while, from at least for me, dealing with a small space, as you will see from my workout, right? So some guys have an elaborate, you know, area so they, where they can work out and do all this and that in the garage. Well, I have a garage, two cars in it. It gets too cold out here for me to park the cars outside and have weights up in there. So I really don't have much space. So let me show you guys what I'm dealing with over here before I get started with the workout. So I'm going to show you there's no excuses to what you can do, right? If you have the will, there's a way. Even before I even got the waist that I have now, I was dealing, you know, working out with cinder blocks, you know, during COVID or whatever. And I'm going to actually make a video to show you how to get started with cinder blocks to, you know, get a pretty good workout. But, you know, even without cinder blocks or whatever, there's things you can use so that you can get the best shape of your life and not make any excuses. So... Real quick, let me show you what I'm working with here in my little area, um, and then I'm going to get started with a quick workout for you guys. All right? Hold on one second. So this is what I'm working with, you guys. Um, actually, shout out to my wife. She got me these. So this is Mutt Bar. I had never heard of these until my birthday last year. My wife got them for me. Um, it's a pretty flexible um, weight where you could do a lot of exercises with it. She got me two of these, and unfortunately, she didn't know how strong I was, even though I had been in a gym pretty regularly before COVID. She got me these small weights, right? 22 pounds. Um, I do my ab work with that sometimes. 55 pounds. Um, it's decent. It gets the job done if, you know, just trying to stay in shape or whatever. They also got these kettlebells here. So the company is Rogue Fitness. Um, you'll see there. So again, my wife got me the, this kettlebell, 35 pounds, mutt bar, which is pretty flexible, 55 pounds, and it's 22 pounds. I got these older weights here, these 10 pound weights um, that I had got for my wife that she uses most of the time now. And this one here is probably 30 something. Um, I use it, you know, to do one arm curls and, and things like that. And then this over here is my wife's set. Anyway, this is our area you'll see here. It's like 12 by 12 probably, right? Um, it's not too elaborate. Um, one thing you'll notice with my videos is you'll see the kids come in and out. It's all part of having a family fun, right? I can't do anything without them showing up. So you'll see this is their play area, a hot mess. So I invite you to join me no matter how much space you have, how little or big. Get into the best shape as you can. Let's make it do what it do. No excuses, all right? All right, y'all. Now that y'all seeing what I'm working with, nothing major, like I said, uh, but we're going to make it do what it do. We're going to do our best. Um, I will say, though, I am looking into upgrading and buying a couple things. Initially, I didn't buy anything because I was not sure if I was going to be consistent enough. I bought things in the past that I didn't really use. Um, I didn't want to be one of those dudes that, I have a pile of stuff just sitting there looking at me and not using it. So now that my wife bought me this bar, the mutt bar, and the kettlebell for my birthday, I've developed a pretty good routine with it. So I figured, hey, might as well start to upgrade. So I'll probably get like a little bench here or something like that. I'm looking at a couple of things online to see if I can, can add to this. But either way, it ain't going to be nothing extravagant like you saw. I don't have much space, 
But hey, we're going to do it. We're going to re-peak. I plan on re-peaking, right? My, my best days are supposedly behind me. I can't lift as much as I used to, supposedly. I can't jump as high as I used to. That's probably true, right? But we're still going to do our best um, to try to get to the best shape as possible. As opposed to trying to buy a new Lambo or jumping out of a plane or something like that. My midlife crisis goal is to be in the best shape I've ever been. So if you're down with that, join the club. Follow me here. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button on the, on the page. You'll see it. And I'll post videos, you know, as often as I can about my workouts, things I'm doing with my family, having fun. But the goal is, is to live your best life as, as you hit your midlife crisis. Quote unquote. All right. So here's a quick workout, quick arm workout for today. I'm gonna use the um, mutt bar. I'm gonna use the kettlebell, probably um, the single um, dumbbell I showed you um, and the tens are gonna be thrown in there. I'll let you know. Um, it'll be on the screen too, um, so you can see what I'm doing as I go along. All right, cool, let's get it popping. All right, I'm ready, you ready? Let's do it. Um, one quick thing. Because I don't have heavy weights, right? I have to do a lot of reps. Um, that's probably gonna be the case for most of you who work out at home. If you don't have the whole shebang in the garage or the basement or whatever with the man cave, you probably have lower weights, so you have to do more reps. And that's fine, depending on what your goals are. As you get into a routine, you can expand and get more weights and things like that. Um, so for now, let's do it. What I'm gonna do here, is um, just regular um, curl. So I've already stretched and did all that stuff, right? Um, you should probably do that too. So quick, quick set here of reps with um, the mud bar. All right, here we go. That was a quick 15, just wide grip curls. Quick 15, wide grip curls. So again, I gotta challenge myself. The weights aren't that heavy. So to keep myself challenged, right? I jump right into the next workout, which is this. It allows you to hold it right here, as you can see right here, and you can do Overhead tricep extensions. All I just did three sets of wide grip curls on the hand and then three sets of 15. So I just did three sets, 15 wide grip curls on the hand and then three sets of 15 overhead um, tricep extensions, all right? So what I'm about to do next is close grip upright position curls, 15 of those. And I'm going to do tricep, lean over, tricep extension with the kettlebell, all right? So that's the next two moves we're going to do, all right? All right. Close grip curls, upright, 15, all right? Here we go.
Just because it's lightweight, don't mean it'll burn, man. Don't mean it doesn't burn. Hey. Go well, 15 reps, no matter what weight you're doing, stinks. So, again, no excuses to not get your work out of it. Gym is open, gym is closed, can't make it, COVID, rain, sleet, hail, snow. Doesn't matter. No excuses. And then, damn, I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. Another thing, y'all. I'm taking about a minute break between sets, depending. I don't like to take long breaks. I remember going to the gym. These dudes be sitting there on the phone. If you can make a phone call at the gym or on the bench, you either ain't working hard enough or you're wasting your damn time, man. Get off the damn weight. Anyway, um, I take about a minute if I need to get some water, whatever a break, and hop back into it. Again, I gotta keep a challenge for myself. Weights aren't too heavy, but if you do enough reps, and if you do them succinctly enough, back to back to back, you feel the burn, man. you feel the pain. My goal may be different than yours. I'm a naturally skinny dude. Um, my goal is really get a little bit more cut, more definition, um, a little bit more muscle mass. That's what I'm trying to do. You may be bigger, trying to lose weight, trying to get jacked, whatever it is. Make it challenging for yourself. I don't really have any prescription. I'm not a I'm not a personal trainer or anybody like that. I will be able to tell you exactly what you need to do to get in shape. You know what shape you want to get in. You probably can do your own research and figure out what you need to do. I'm just here to motivate you, motivate myself really, and show you what I'm working with. And there is no excuse for you to not do what you got to do to get yourself in shape. Again, repeat, right? It's all behind you. The 20s are behind you. All the energy is behind you, right? People nowadays are taking all types of things to get energy up. Whatever. I don't do all that. I'm a pretty natural dude. I'm one of those guys that I feel like the more stuff you start to take, eventually it starts to have a negative side effect. And I'm not for negative side effects. So I'd rather just go naturally. If I fail, I fail. So that's exactly what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna get right back into this. Got one more set of the curls, close grip curls, and the kettlebell tricep extensions. And then we'll move on to our third look, all right? small weights for you. They will. You are. All right, y'all. So that was that. Third exercise routine is going to be overhand curls, right? Overhand grip curls, targeting upper forearms, low biceps. Probably about, probably do about ten of these, because after doing so many curls, <laughs> I'm about to give out. So I'm gonna do ten of these, um, and then I'm gonna do some laying down tricep extensions again. Um, and down, uh, probably throw in some close grip um, presses, laying down, and these as well. Um, we'll see how many I can get of those, uh, but it's probably gonna be 10, 10 of these, probably 15 of these, we'll see. And then 10 of these as I'm laying down, all right? Um, so here we go. Him, man. I've never been the biggest fan of overhand grip curls until it's hurt. 
and these are no different. Even with 55 pound weights. After you've done so many of these, your joints hurt. Anyway, two more sets to go. Overhands, laying flat, overhead, tricep extensions with the full grip uh, bench press. All right, let's finish out strong. I'll see you on the other side. Alright y'all, last step of the day, last round, and that's it. I shall lie y'all, last round for this one. But now I'm gonna top off with some quick dumbbell work. Y'all see what I'm talking about after this, alright? Alright y'all, that's it for the mud bar routine. What do we do? We do, we did underhand, 15, three sets of 15. We did standing up, overhead, tricep extensions, 15. Then we did close grip, um, curls, 15 of those, right? We did kickbacks with the kettlebell. And then we did overhand bicep curls. 10 of those joints hurt. And then we did laying down tricep extensions and close grip bench presses on the floor. 15 of those. Um, yeah. That was pretty good. To top it all off, what I usually do with my arm exercises is to just give it one last second burn. Is what I do is get these puppies here. Tens, not too heavy, except after you burnt yourself out already. So I'm about to do. What do I do here? You'll see. It's usually ten. 10, 10, 10, non-stop, all right? And if I'm feeling good, I might go for more. Usually, I don't, all right? Thank you. Let's see what we got. Ready? Let's go. Check it out, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Again, click the subscribe button. Um, we're gonna have fun doing this. Staying in shape doesn't have to be, you know, crazy. You don't have to hate it, hate your life while you're getting in shape. Whether you're skinny trying to gain weight, whether you're bigger trying to lose weight, whatever it is, start where you are, do what you can. As you get in the rhythm, eventually, it'll be like falling asleep and waking up. You won't even notice it, Again, I'm not perfect. I'm in the same place you are. Middle-aged dude. My peak is supposed to be behind me, supposedly. My energy's not always there. I don't want to take no drugs. Again, I don't want to take no supplements. But hey, we're going to re-peak. We're going to make it work. We're going to find the time. We're going to use what we got. And we're going to succeed at it. All right? 
win, lose, or draw. Like I said, rain, sleet, hail, snow. We're going to make it work. And we're going to come back stronger the next day and do it again. All right? So until next time, peace out, and I'll see you again.